While the Aztec nobles were bathing in luxury, at this time in Europe, plague caused by unsanitary conditions was killing millions. King Nezahualcoyotl's own bath was one of the most unique in the Americas. It was fed by a sophisticated aqueduct system that also brought running water to his palace grounds. Behind me is the hill of Tezcocinco. And on this hill, Nezahualcoyotl built a fantastic pleasure palace. And around this palace, a virtual botanical garden filled with all of the exotic flowers of Mesoamerica. Nezahualcoyotl brought water from the Sierra Nevada mountains all the way down to here, into this hill, to his palace, just to water his plants. To install an aqueduct there, Nezahualcoyotl had to fill a huge gorge between Tezcocinco and the next hill. As the water arrived at the first hill, it gathered in small pools built to control the speed of the flow before it reached the aqueduct. After crossing the aqueduct, the water ran in a circuit around Tezcocinco Hill, spilling off over the sides in rock-cut waterfalls to water the gardens. It ended up in a nearly perfectly round rock-cut pool called the King's Bath. And from here, he could look upon his domain at Texcoco, and he could look down at the botanical gardens that he was watering with his fantastic aqueducts. It is indeed a bath fit for a king.